Hi guys and welcome back to episode 8 of the Building a Nation Challenge with Cork City. I've just got a couple of um, results to show you before we go on to our next couple of games. I was planning again to go quite a few games in, but because of Europe I feel like it's more important for the save to show the European games, unless they're teams that are obviously going to absolutely batter us guaranteed, but I feel like we've got a good chance in the next round, but yeah, here we go. So since we were last here we had the heartbreak as it was going out on aggregate to uh yep that team as i'm not willing to try and pronounce them again but since then it didn't look even better either we got battered by sligo rovers 3-1 uh i mean carl shepherd got a consolation goal even at 2-2 two, two, it wasn't we just weren't in the game obviously with the own goal there as well to finish it off it just wasn't good but um picked up form a little bit playing shamrock rovers got a nice five goals away from home shepherd with a brace we are conceding still, which is a bit irritating, but again, at this sort of level, you're going to have to expect that, because the keepers aren't that good, the defenders aren't that good, especially with the tactic I've got. It is built for slightly higher level, but we're getting there. Uh, the next game we played was against Limerick at home, and nice, easy, comfortable game. Couldn't ask for anything better. And because of those lovely results, we have actually got ourselves back in a good position in the league, as you can see. We are now second, back to two points behind. I'm surprised St. Pat's are doing so well, though. Normally it is Dundalk who sort of fly away with it, but yeah, it's all open for three of us, well, four of us, actually, for the European spots as well. Even Waterford's a weird one. See, that's probably Southie Shamrock Rovers up there more than anything. But we're on the best form, as it stands as well in the league. Uh, got the goal difference for it as well. Scored 70 goals. The next closest is fingers 52. But as you can see, 35 conceded, that is bad considering. I mean, Dundalk surprisingly exceeded quite a lot. But other than that, like, I mean, you got Shamrock, who are quite a few points behind us and have conceded less. And then obviously St. Pat's only exceeded 18 and then 25 games. That's very good. And that's what we need to improve on, I think. Although having that new centre-back we got on a free, I think, will help. Obviously, Andy Boyle, he's he's a really good player and helping our goalkeeper. So we are improving the team. Uh, also, Graham Cummins, big injury, he's out for a while, so I've had to give Liam Nash some starts. He's not scoring as many as I'd like, but the other players make up for it. I mean, look at that. Carl Shepard with 22. Two goals less than Graham Cummins. Um, i about to bring this little youngster in. He's awful, like awful, but it's just for backup. Um, haven't really had to use him yet, thank God. But, yeah, we'll see. So today we're going to play the two legs of the Europa League. And as you may have seen, it's against TNS, also known as the New Saints, the Welsh Premier Champions, who I believe are the only pro team in the Welsh League. They are pro. I'm pretty sure they're the only pro team, last I knew. But uh, no disrespect to the Welsh League, but I think even Ireland are better than that. So I th Especially as we've slightly improved our team, so I think we should over these two legs be able to win but then we are quite unpredictable sometimes I mean they're on inconsistent form I just saw uh, Gary Buckley is on uh, got a light injury but as you'll see I do play light injuries if I feel their conditioning and their sharpness is fine like sharpness is fine and conditioning's it's almost 80 it's not bad it just means you'll have to be subbed early unless obviously changes in the game but I'm not really one for rotating the squad if I can help it don't I feel like it's better to not do it like even in cup games I don't or games you expect to easily win I don't tend to rotate a lot I feel like it's best for gelling of the team to keep them playing all the time as much as possible and as often as possible all right so here we go Europa League qualifying round third round I believe and I think after this is the playoff round so if we can get through this round which we should and then we get around the next round. We're in the group stages, I believe. Great start. Three minutes in. Carl Shefford. I think he might end up with uh, the golden boot this year. You know. And as I expected, it will be, or should be, a comfortable victory. I know it's very early. Uh, that was a weird camera angle. But yeah, we do have another... S oh, no. No, yeah, I was, I was going to go for another centre-back. But I didn't go for him. Yeah. Yeah, so ignore that. 
Right, Griffin with the free kick. Whips it in, goes over everyone's head. Right, Maloney smashes it back up the pitch, only as far as Marriott. Ebb. On to Brobble. Luckily mispasses it to Morrissey who clears it to O'Connor who then smashes it upfield to Nash. Cuts inside. On to Tilly. And as always, Tilly loves a good finish. 17th goal of the season. So I'm liking as our players are getting better at the formation and their ability in general, they are improving their finishing so you'll see a lot of more goals from the wingers and even the uh, attacking midfielder as well. If we do comfortably win this first leg then I probably will skip the second leg and play on a little bit and go in the season and come back at a different game for this episode but we'll see how it goes. All can change especially on Football Manager. Right, Maloney on the ball. On to Buckley, who passes it to Morrissey. He switches it across down to Griffin. Lovely ball. Whips it in. O'Connor with on his head. I think the keeper tipped it out. No, nope. hit the bar. We really need to improve our uh, <laughs> accuracy. Two shots on target and 11 shots. Although we have scored both of those shots. So it's good and bad. Routledge on the ball. TNS on the attack with Bayern or Burn. You'll notice that I cannot pronounce half of these names and I have no intention to learn them. They're just, whatever way I pronounce them is their new name. Hudson. Plays it back to his goalkeeper confidently. O'Connor's on the ball. Pass it to Tilly. Griffin loses it with Brobble to attack down the wing. Audacious ball and it goes straight to Draper and it's in. I can't argue with that as they literally sliced us in two then. That was amazing. Although hopefully when we get better quality players it won't be so easy to do that to us. A halfway line cross. Straight over the top. Although he could have been offside like... The angles aren't very good, but yeah, he could have been offside for that. So they've got the unwanted away goal, unfortunately. I really hope we can beat TNS. Nash, oh, great challenge. See, Tilly's, I want to try and bring him in. Oh, nice little goal. Awful goalkeeper in my opinion, but nice goal. Yeah, as I said, I really want to keep Tilly. We've got him in on loan. Even if we have to keep loaning him in, because obviously we can't afford anyone at the moment. But, um, yeah, he's such a good little player. Which, speaking of money, reminds me, uh, we actually got some decent money because we were, what, like seven, eight hundred thousand pounds in minuses? And because we played in the first round of the Champions League, regardless of going through or not, we got a quarter of a million. And for, obviously, we're getting knocked out. And our, that, our overall sort of prize money for the Champions League, for being in it, uh, we've got another quarter of a million, so we've got half a million still in the minuses, and every month I think we're losing like 135, roughly, thousand pounds. So it's not great, but that has massively helped us. What does he want us to say? Anything? See, oh, that's not a good team talk. We're free one up. Just assertively, you say, like, I would say, you know, keep it calm, don't get complacent. So, yeah, that one. And it, yeah, most of them agree, apart from. Weirdly, the team leader, Carl Shepard, I think he's got a big head and probably wants me to say, yeah, go on, smash him. But you've got to be realistic. Team talks are very important on Football Manager. <clears throat> the whole morale system on it is very good. You'll see, like, you could lose one game and your dynamics would be horrendous. It's so hard to build it back up. I've got deja vu then. I swear we scored a goal like that. Maybe even in the Champions League. 25th goal of the season for Carl Shepard in all competitions. Outstanding for a winger. Who needs Mo Salah when you've got Carl Shepard, eh? 
Right, as we're doing quite well, I want to give this little youngster a go. He doesn't even have a picture. Um, fitness, yeah, we'll take Butley off as he's got that light injury. Although, sharpness on Conor McCormack. But he's one of these players that constantly gets Ill, um, injured as well. So, his fitness is always, well, sharpness is always poo. Maloney, oh, Jesus. On target, that's in. Keepers in no man's land. Ten minutes ago, but I'm quite happy with how it's gone. Um, take a Connor off. Right, last ten minutes, what can we do? We have comfortably won this game, but again, it's the accuracy of shooting. We don't always have it this bad, but I can't argue with the score of this game. But yeah, that's a nice win. What I'll do then, because I can't see us slipping up even away. So I will probably, I don't know when, but I'll play quite a few games and I will come back. And we will see, yeah, how we're getting on. Yep, so passionately did very well. Bosh. I wonder if we get any money for winning that leg. No, yep, I'll praise you. So yeah, our finances have improved. They're still not great, but they have jolted up. Let's have a look. So yeah, we'll probably skip that game. We've got the semi-final again. Should be able to beat them easily. And then we got them in the FA Cup. I'll skip Dundalk. Although we got Dundalk. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll skip Dundalk on St. Pat's. No, I will skip Dundalk. And depending on the result, I could come back at St. Pat's. Because it could be a top table clash. Then that's a nice little chunk. And we are getting close to the end of the season as well, actually. So, yeah, see you guys in a sec. Welcome back, guys. I've played a couple of games since the last left you after that um, first leg win in the Europa League. I wanted to play, I, like I said, I'd skip the second leg because I did think we should easily win it. And I'll just show you what happened. So, where are we? Yeah, so we played Drogada. I think that's how it's pronounced. Drogheda United in the semi-final of the EA Sports Cup. Comfortably won that, as you can see. Nash, Bargary and Shepard. Uh, the second leg, as you can see, successful. 3-2 win. It was a weird one because we did really well. 2-0 up, but then we ne nearly threw it away. But a draw would have been fine. Even a 3-2 loss would have been fine, to be fair. But we managed to nick it in the end. So, yeah, comfortable win. And we played Drogheda again in the FA Cup. And that was, that was, again, a high-scoring game. Um, O'Connor getting himself a hat-trick. And as you see, we've drawn against an Albanian team. I think it's pronounced Kukesi or Kukesi. Kukesi. Anyway, the game, like, I, the reason I started the first leg without playing it here, because I feel like if I looked at their stats and their club and everything like that, and I just think we should easily beat them. Like, they beat that, is it Quarabag or Quarabag? They managed to beat them, knock them out, and I thought... The, they should have been knocked out themselves so as you can see it was a late scoring game but it was a super sub Bargary he come on and got two in two minutes and then they got one back annoyingly but we got ourselves two away goals we're in the driver's seat so um we're gonna play the um Kukesi next for the second leg so I think that's going to be quite an interesting one but we played Dundalk and as you can see beat them I think it was due to having Patrick Hoban sent off that probably got us the win but I don't care, to be honest, we needed it. It was a massive win because I will show you the league. We are a couple of games in hand to St. Pat, so it is in our own hands. If we win our two games in hand, we will go one point top. And we've got the goal difference as it stands. But we are in danger of letting them slip away. So we do really need to win. Dundalk was a massive must-win game. I want to see when we have St. Pat's next, actually. Yeah, we have them then. I will come back with that regardless because that's going to be, a, I think, a season decider, probably. But Although we do have Dundalk last game of the season as well, so that's another toughie. But today, yeah, we're playing Kukesi. Kukesi. I'm just going to say Kukesi. Uh, Cummins still out injured, but it's fine because Liam Nash has been banging him in. Still, he's got his 10th for the season. Yeah, he'll be fine to play. Let's get the game underway. 
like I've never heard of this team or anything, but looking at them, I do think we should win, and I'll be pretty annoyed if we don't win, to be honest. But we did win for knocking TNS out. We did actually get another quarter of a million, so we've got just about 100 grand in debt at the moment, so we are improving. This is why Europe is so important. Um, yeah. Count, what is it he wants us to do? Prove a point today. Uh, yeah, I think I agree with that, actually. You know, give everyone the opportunity. Give the opportunity to show everyone that we're where we are because of how good we are. So we've got the two goal advantage, away goal advantage, most importantly. We've got ourselves a penalty nice and early. This could write the game off. Shepard to take it. He's running up. Straight down the middle. 3 1 on aggregate. Two away goals. Still pretty much the whole game to do, but I can't see us messing this up, to be honest. Really, really, really important to try and get into the Europa League group stage. And I wouldn't expect it from an Irish team, to be honest. And we may get beaten by everyone because we're not going to be seeded at all so whoever we get is going to be hard but any even getting a draw will get us a like hundred two hundred grand or something like that which is massive money for a little club like us i mean if we can win them even better but i think when you get knocked out you get like a prize money allocation for how well you did in the the competition as well so that'd be nice the further we get it's a shame we couldn't get through even one round of the champions leagues we got a quarter of a million just by getting knocked out in the first round not going to pronounce that name, but he's on the attack. Bossin with a save. Bossin is actually improving. He's done some amazing saves against Dundalk. Kept us in it. Morrissey clears it away. Shimaji on the ball. To Masoli. Kukuli to throw it in. Buckley intercepts and clears it. Nash gives it, oh no, come on, Boston, you should be coming out for that. What a save. Oh, it's offside anyway. As I said, Boston is massively improving. Griffin on the ball. O'Connor now. Running at the opposition defence, and what a screamer. So even him and attacking midfielder, he's got 17 goals this season. That was a well worked goal. He's run it alone, didn't he? Keeper's got no chance, fully stretched. I think again it's safe to say this round is won. Be good if it could be a competitive game at least, but I'm not going to complain. Got a nice sea of greens on the winds. We're on our best form. Another great save, but there's nothing you can do to keep that out. Oh, it's been disallowed offside, apparently. Not even sure what happened, to be honest. Just saw the great save. Yeah, he's off. Yeah, good call. See, don't say prove a point now. Just say calmly, doing good. Carry on. They agree. I've just signed a load of new contracts for our players as well because uh, my rule is I don't let them go. As soon as it gets to two years, I try and renew ones that either have massive potential who are really good because if you let it run down to the last year, what happens is they may randomly get upset whether they're not getting enough game time or if a bigger team's interested and they won't renew a contract then six months in. With six months left, sorry. Obviously, you can lose them on a three, and the, uh, three, and there's nothing you can do about it. So that's why I try and sign a new contract. I've managed to do it. I've only given some of them tiny increases on money, like maximum like a hundred pound. Lovely girl by Connor again. But most of them were for the same amount of money. I think uh, Carl Shepherd is now on a thousand pounds a week though, but he is like four and a half star star player of the league, and he's he's been amazing. He's banged in loads of goals. Definitely deserved that contract. Can't afford to lose him. But some of them I've not renewed yet, even when I think with six months left, just because they're 
they're decent, but they're getting like a year or two off 30, and I just want to see if we can bring someone else in, or replacement, or bring someone up from the uh, youth squad, or maybe. But we'll see. This game is pretty much all but over, unless they start scoring. But they've got to score a lot, although they would have the goal away goal advantage, obviously. Maloney throws it into the box, O'Connor's on the ball. On to Tilly, can he finish it? No, but we get a penalty. I've noticed we attack a lot that way with um, throw-ins. Player runs across the box. Ooh, keeper saves it, not a very good penalty. Maybe he feels sorry for him, giving him a bit, of, a bit of a break. Although he could have got his hat-trick with that, O'Connor. Maloney on the ball. <clears throat> Over the top to Nash, smash against the goalkeeper. But Tilly fires one in from his head. A lovely cross from Shepherd. Again, 19 goals this um, season from Tilly as well. Right, let's have a look at... Do we take off for fitness or do we take off for cards? I oh, don't want people to get banned, to be honest. Because... Obviously, in Europe, we're going to need all our best players. <clears throat> I'm not even sure if I want to bring Cummins back in. I know he scored a lot more than Nash, but he has had a lot more starts. But obviously being injured for a long time at his age as well, I think he's like 30, he's going to start losing his ability rapidly. And certainly so, Liam Nash still has quite a bit of potential. And he's still getting goals, so I might just keep Nash on. So sorry, Cummins, you've probably lost your first team's place. So looking at the stats, it's an even game. Both had 15 shots. They've actually slightly had most possession, but it's all about finishing because we've won this game 4-0. 6-1 on aggregate. A nice, easy, comfortable tie. And we march on in Europe, lads. To the holy grail of what is the group stage for us. This is why I find lower league football more interesting because when you're in a top tier... If, you, if you're not automatic qualified, which you might already, the, uh, the qualifications is more expect, expectancy and you don't enjoy them as much as, and you get more angry if you, if you lose. But little clubs like this, you really do appreciate every little goal and every little win. Very happy with that. I want to see if they let us know who we're going to be drawn against. Connor again with a great display. Oh wow, I didn't think it was that much. Oh, we have got that was the group, so, so yeah, that was like the playoff round. Two and a half million. Well, this could be interesting, guys, because as you can see, we're on the minus of wages. I, I mean, we are losing money, so that doesn't justify if we get given more money, it doesn't justify spending it. You don't always want to spend what you're given, but that the option will be there, especially next season. So, yeah, that is a a good we're it's a good thing to end the episode on we've made a nice bit of money we're doing well we made the group stage of the europa league that's incredible but yeah as always i hope you like this episode if you like it please hit the like button and hit the subscribe as well if you're new and i'll see you next time bye